A few days ago, I began a new series on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash likemeister, of The Walking Dead. And so basically this game is a choice-based game. Every choice you make has an impact later on in the story. And yeah, so let's just hop into it. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Like the video, comment what you want to see next, and yeah. Yeah, that, that's about it. Enjoy the video! In association with Skybound Entertainment, The Walking Dead. That's Atlanta. I live there, kinda. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. What do you mean I didn't do it? Does it really matter? You want to know what you know what they say about reckoning? Why do you say that? I'm gonna say, why did you say that? Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually, it's about now I get the I didn't do it. Okay, I can look around. Not for me. Not for me. Cause guys in your position already said it enough. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by that? I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. Hey, I know Macon. What'd you think? So you've got an opinion. You're from Macon then. You're from Macon then. Yep. Came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. You picked up on I what? My avoidance of murder case. changing anything? Like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect, a real shame that is. Mm. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Foreshadowing. Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention, and you'll drive yourself crazy. I feel like the world. I got could nephew learn up that. at UGA. No need to. You teach there long? You drive yourself Going crazy six years. trying to keep up with all the news. You worrying meet about your it wife all. in Athens. That's harsh. You want to know how I see it? Sure. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Could be I did. <sighs> That's so, I like that, because like, we know what's happening. It, the zombies are happening. But, uh, I'm driving no this point man in, once. He, he was no the point worst in, one. uh, he wouldn't stop going on. I mean, about not how no point, but uh, it's it. cool like that. It's like he was no older fella, like, oh, big what's going soft on? eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. And he just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him crying and snotting all over right where you're all sitting. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. Fun that's fact, that's actually a reference to a character in the comments who otherwise. was a serial killer. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Crazy. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Foreshadowing. Well, I got another good one for you. This one's a little bit less hey, depressing hey, and a bit more hey. hilarious if I Fucking do try. say so. This other time... 
He did not react to what I said at all. So that was a little bit of a wreck. That's why you should always wear your seat belts, ladies and gentlemen. Because you never know. Oh, you could hear him get bit. So good, buddy. Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cut back here! Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Kick that door down, or I guess I need window. To drag myself out that window. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. Go. Damn it. Okay, there we go. That's a steep hill. That hurt. That sound hurt. Alright, let's... Hello? Why are you going... Okay, there he goes. I always listen to what I'm saying. Officer? Well, don't stop. Just keep walking, man. There we go. Take those keys off, yes sir. All right. I don't like that it's next to his face. Got him. Okay. He's alive. Officer? No, he's not. That man's a zombie. Holy shit! Okay, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up, back up. Get away from me! Hey, man. Hey, man. You need to chill. You need to chill out. You need to chill out. Is what you need to do. Where are you? Lee. Why are you dropping these things? Okay, you're done. You're done. Just shot a police officer. Do not toss that to the side, but he does anyways. He didn't listen to me. What a jerk. Help! Go get someone! Clementine. There's, there's been a shooting! Yep, there's some people that you can kill. Tommy, how did you do that? Move, Lee. walk on a busted leg like and that did not look I mean it looked painful so all things considered good only 
Good survivor instinct, but... Let's go inside. Hello, anybody home? I need a little help. All right, open door. Let's go in. Don't shoot me. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? Hey, that's what I just said. Go in. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. These people might need more help than I do. Nah, buddy, you kinda screwed. Like, yeah, they 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 at least got safety. All right, let's see. This has a flashing light. Three new messages. Message one left at five forty-three p.m. Hey, Sandra. This is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Right. Let's, uh... Oh, come on, Lee. I tried to get you out of the way, buddy. There's only oh so much God, I can finally. do. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. Let's play a They're game not called letting How many us leave and leave aren't ball. telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Yeah, I don't think that they're... Um, I don't think that they're going to make it, personally. Message 3, left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby, if you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. That's sad. Her parents ain't make it. They did, did. Daddy? Nope. Not me. Hello? You need to be quiet. <clears throat> Are, Are you okay? okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me. But I'm hiding until right. my parents come home. This is like... I like that they, they're using pretty classic camera movements even though it's all digital i love that as a film major where are your parents what's your name where are your parents, where are your parents? even though we already know they took a trip and left me with sandra they're in savannah i think all right where is where the sandra boats are? are you safe are you safe i'm outside in my tree house they can't get in that's smart because they can't climb see can that you see me clever. i can see well, you through the window they live in trees in the show like, I feel like that would be pretty wise. Okay. I'm assuming that you're Sandra. Man, you fugly. Ow, Lee. Okay, that's three times? Three times he's fallen to the ground? Twice in this one place? Four times? Okay, alright, alright. Get off me, 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 I ain't into you like that. Oh my god. Give me that. 
give me that. Got him. She's still moving. She's still moving. I think we're good. I don't want to, like, overly brain this girl's babysitter. Or what I can only assume is her Man. babysitter. Hi there. <laughs> did you kill it? Yeah, I think I did. I think, or er, something I else think did. Something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters got her. Dang, two nights ago? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Yeah. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Um, okay. First choice. Guys, should we leave before it gets dark or wait until dark to leave? Let me know. What should we do? What should we do? Leave before dark or leave at dark. When, that way we're like concealed. So safety of day, ambiguity of night. Before dark. That's one for before dark. Uh, Alright. Let's go with it. That's the only person who's... Okay, let's get help before it gets dark. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's not safe at night. Safety of daylight does make a lot more sense. Because if you, it's dark, Let's you know, go. you can't see it, things as well. More likely to get bitten, in my opinion. But, as the title says, you guys are making the choices. So. Faster than I am, you don't have a busted knee. Please slow down. Alright, coming up, these guys are gonna ask who we are to this girl. Do we tell the truth or come up with a lie? Oh, Clementine, yes! I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. Tell the truth. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents They're not home? coming home. Sorry to tell you. I won't leave I you won't alone. I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? Deal. That's a good idea. house has too much glass. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do we... Do, they, they don't talk, do they? Okay, what are you doing? We're looking for help. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Me. This is Clementine. I'm Chet. He has some hairy arms. We shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm no, no, mining there. turtle? Um. Uh, okay, we said we wouldn't be honest. Just, Just some, some guy. guy. Some guy? Yeah. She's alone? Let's get going. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I... The monster's coming. We gotta go. Alright, let's move, let's move. Quick, let's go. You can tell this is an older game because some of the sound mixing ain't the best. Oh, 
just some guy? It seems like you've saved a bunch of lives today. Why not just wait till the end of the road there, I man? Yeah, you had to go on the... Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom was gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. And we never see him again. Okay, wait. And then do we never see him again? Thank God you're okay. Herschel! I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. All right, we just need some help. We need a place to stay. Your boy your is a boy lifesaver. Is a lifesaver. Complimentary is the to best somebody. way to go. So it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He's well, just some guy who found her alone. Honey, do you know this man? No. Yes. What a liar of Clem. Okay, then. Fist bump. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Alrighty. Let's have a look. Yeah, <coughs> this Excuse is me. swollen to hell. Yeah, it don't look so good, Doc. Could be Could worse. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? I didn't. It's Lee. It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. How'd this happen? Um... Car accident. Car accident. That's so... Where were you headed before the car accident? To jail. Can we just be honest? Out of Atlanta. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with? The girl? A police I officer. I was with a police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. Me. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. Kenny! You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Clem I can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Uh, your son is right. Your son's right. You're gonna want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. I, yeah, Lee, it does. come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. A girl just with her gut spilled out. Dead people walking. Man got run over a dead cop. I saw a around. cop come back from the dead. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. <laughs> well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better This is tomorrow. such a different Herschel Thanks. than the one we got in the show. If your leg gets which is weird. Like, I, I don't know if I like it or don't like it. What do we do then? But, like, yeah. They'll probably just have to shoot you. <laughs> Look at Clem in the back. She's like, Hopefully oh no! redress it and you'll be fine. And okay, she does not like that'd be preferable. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. She's we'll giving him the eye. Early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Everyone who thinks Clementine's the best character in all of history, raise your hand. 
We love Clementine. Best video game character to ever exist. Especially when it comes to kids. Best video it game kid like... for sure. Shit. 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 <gasps> I'm sorry. I shouldn't talk like that. That was a swear. <laughs> I missed my mom and dad. I've never chosen to swear in front of her, but I did this time. I love it. How far is Savannah? Funny. Pretty far. Oh, okay. Hmm. You can see Kenny and his family sleeping earlier, but now you can't. Odd. Why would you not sleep under? I guess it is Georgia, and it's probably the summer. I would assume, like early, like mid, like mm, either like just before school gets out or just after, because he said he was a teacher. Hey, and they look get up wearing short sleeves and stuff. So I'm assuming mm. it's probably like Come August, on, maybe. Well, you slept in a barn, or little like lady. May. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <laughs> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're gonna go with Fence. There's a tractor and everything. <laughs> we better yeah, get going. Or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Is that a racism? I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to Thanks. work. We've all it seen missed, what those things can do out there. So the faster we get this fence words. up, the better. Which is weird. I want to build a fence. Yeah? <laughs> well, I that? need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. <laughs> on the tractor? Cool! I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Let's go over here and talk to Ken. Hey there, uh, Kenny. Uh, how's your son doing? What's the plan? So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Mm, how's your, how's son, your doing? son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station, and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds, and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. Mm. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Wait, what just happened? Wait. Uh, let's see if he needs any help. Need any help? No, I think I got it. All right. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? No kids. I, I have no I have idea. No idea what I'm doing. At least you're honest. Shit. Better than I was when Duck showed up. You'll figure it out. See, this is why I like Kenny. He's such a stand-up guy. He, he's loyal. He's a little racist, but you know, that happens sometimes. Oh yeah, I forgot they don't have the walk faster thing yet. How you doing, Duck? Good. That's not till I'm gonna drive the tractor. Three. I'm the foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Nah, don't lift with your back. That would be bad. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. I got you, Sean. 
My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy, Was one, the of the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Man. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. That's so... Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... Sometimes a skill would be killed. I bash poor girl. I bashed a poor girl's brains in. Whoa. I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Understandable. How about yours? People How's your are dangerous. I'm not too close to my family. I don't know where my ex wife is. My parents are my making with my brother. Let's making... be pleasant oh. about it. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Aww. Anyway, when you see Very my dad around, he might want some help in the barn. Let's move it. Goodbye, duck. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Hmm. I got a ride. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family. I don't, I don't think I could so run a farm. I. I don't want to. Family's important. Some people so can. Matters. And they like you it, agree but with not, that? it wouldn't be for me. Was brought up to? Yes. Where's your family now? Making parents, wife, girlfriend. My parents are in Macon with my brother. To keep our story well, consistent. I hope they're all right. Now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her. What are you getting at? I was attacked and she came to my rescue. I was looking for help in yeah, her house. Yeah, I was looking for help in her house. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Yeah. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're gonna have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're gonna. Hey, I am being mostly honest. If those same people get to questioning yours, you're gonna be in trouble. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. Okay. Who do we save here, guys? Who do we save? Do we save Sean or Duck? Let's type Sean or Duck. Who are we saving? Who are we saving? Who is Steven? Sean or Duck? Sean or Duck? Sean or Duck? The kid or the uh, teenager? The kid or the teenager? I'm seeing one Sean and one Duck. Okay, we gotta help the kid. Like, get him up! Get him up! Don't let him take me! Got him, Alpha. Now let's now let's save Sean. Get this tractor off of me! Kenny! Please, help me! What the please. F?
thought I could save both of them. Well, not really, because he dies either way. I did try to help. I was worried about the little boy. I thought I could help them both. I thought I could help them both. You thought wrong. And now? Please. Just go. Get out and never come back. Man, that's tough. Somebody at least turn off the track. Got that ride to make it if you want it. I feel bad about not saving Sean, but like I said, he dies no matter what you do. So, I kind of wanted to uh, get on Kenny's good side because Kenny's going to be around. Herschel is kind of, he's got his own destiny and the show The Walking Dead and the comics, I guess. So, uh, yeah. That's why I went with saving the kid. Well, this is as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. friendly trucks run out of gas <laughs> I do not think he's friendly to be so young and just covered in somebody else's blood that's uh, that's intense Nice. Safe lock. Very, very effective. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell kids. is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. And what is it? Doug? I, I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. Just go. Bet you would. Then just go. They've got Dang, kids. That was harsher really? than I wanted it to be. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. Dang. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. She's an asshole, that's for sure. That's what it takes. Well, you don't have to be a bitch about it. <laughs> Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't he bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body. We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out. Or smash his head in. Kenny! Hey, what do we do about this guy? We kick his dad. It's just a boy. It, it's Lily. We kick his ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. I ain't shut throwing up, a kid Lily. out into the street. And you shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. 
Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Sit down Sit or else. I see it. You're gonna whoop me? You and what homo parade? This oh, one. so he's That's uh. That's good. Little boy. Okay. Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna Let's kill fight. him, cat. Fight, worry fight, about fight, 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 Lee. fight, fight, fight. Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She, she won't. won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. And get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bit- not gonna happen. <coughs> it is. And we're tossing him out now! Uh... No! You don't touch that boy! You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! <laughs> you better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! Dang! <laughs> How many? Okay, that's five times he's fallen. Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! Get off me! You got him. That was a dangerous shot. Nobody had like a knife or something? You had to shoot? You okay? Just great, thanks. because of this bitch and a Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was... Uh, uh, yep, bad. you're stupid. Uh, get, get, uh, get heart attacked. Dummy. I did try to get him to calm down. Can it, asshole. <laughs> it's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. No. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. Definitely this not. ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. Now I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your you way, know around your way around town? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other. Cool, cool, cool. One. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. You. What's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Okay. Let's see. What's this? Take that. Candy bar. Okay, let's talk to her. You're a pretty good shot. Thank her for saving our well, life. you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three days out from her last cup of coffee. Dang. What are you working on? What are you messing around with there? 
A radio. <coughs> I can't get it to work, though. Here, let me have a look. <coughs> All right, uh... Turn the, uh, thing up, yeah. Take the battery. There are no batteries. There are no batteries to this thing. What now? <laughs> you know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, I mean yeah. No. I can try to find some. Need so she's two. smart, but Thanks. she's got no common sense. Really and she's a good for. shot. <laughs> No, I'm sorry to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. I mean, fair enough to... We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Is that a battery? The fam! Minus Lee. Shameful. I guess whenever he committed murder, they were like, nope. Just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. Let's give a we'll do our damn duck. He just had a pretty successful moment. Much, but here, for the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Okay. There's another one we can give to Clemmy Clue. Now let's give Clementine. Where are you, Clementine? Where are you, Clementine? There are much, you, Clementine. You Thank you. Of course. Of course I'm taking care of Clementine. What's this? What was that? Oh, more batteries. Let's talk to Glenn. Hey there. Hi. Any word from Glenn? Can I, uh, get you anything? I'm okay. Maybe I'm a little hungry. I already gave Stay. you food. Huh? Yeah, it wasn't much. I know, Glenn. I'll see if I can find something else for you. Mm. We should get to know each so, other. So, um... Are you okay? What? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I just, uh... I'm good. That's good. Uh. Yeah, I, I think so. Uh, being good is good. Despite the circumstances. Generally, yes. Yep. He's not good at this whole talking thing. Any word from Any Glenn? Any word from Glenn? Nothing. Is he okay? Yeah, I think so. You're doing a good job. Hmm. We'll sit tight. Okay. Okay. It's not damaged. Glad this place didn't get looted. Yeah. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went <coughs> down. Excuse me. Okay, let's give her the battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be well, able to, get give it to work both. now. Unless it needs both. Hey, Connie. Still, it's still not working? Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Alright. <clears throat> They're in backwards. Come on, follow the symbols, follow the symbols. Power. As the unknown affliction continues to spread on he fixed it. the estimated death toll continues to skyrocket. WABE urges you to stay indoors and avoid any contact with individuals you suspect may have been <laughs> He's just like, the station is okay. In the event of Look at his eyes. My, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. God bless you all. That didn't sound good. Hey there. Personally, I don't think that sounded good at all. That radio sign off didn't sound too good. Are you okay? I'm fine. You don't, don't have, have to, be. to be. It's traumatic. I'm sure some people got out. Maybe they're all being rescued. Then again, maybe not. Okay, let's talk to Doug. Have you seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? 
<laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, the gate out there is closed. We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. uh, no, right no. Not right now. All right, let me know if you want to. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um. Try to get some rest, hon. How can I with those things out there? I'm not checking on you, you racist. And jerk face who wanted to murder a child. Find anything? Tear. Oh, hello. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This Dang. is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. Why are you I paid attention to that them? trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Why is she and Megan? <laughs> that's like a two-hour drive. Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. I've been sticking to first names for a reason. You seem like mm -hmm. an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and look make me wrong on this I don't plan to good because if this lasts longer than a few days and you're a detriment to the group then we'd have a problem I hear you I'll just keep it to myself thank you thanks don't worry about it oh hello okay let's uh, not mention that to them okay Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Hmm. What's that? This is my dad's cane. He'd zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, uh, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you and your hat. My dad gave it to me. Dad's, dad's, a dad's cool. smart like that. Yeah. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. You don't need anything, right? No. I get hungry a lot. <laughs> okay, good to know. And you don't have any allergies or anything I should know about, right? Don't kids have allergies or asthma or just general maladies? Alfred has peanut allergy. <laughs> but you're cool. I think so. <laughs> I love Club of Dine so much. Okay, here we go. This is the kind of game that makes me want to be a father one day. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Uh. Let's avoid the question. Parents do. 
My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I, uh, teach history and writing and things like that. Like, um, social studies? Yeah, <laughs> like that. Yeah. You didn't answer my question. All right, a little further. <sighs> Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Dang. It's just complicated, that's all. Why? It just is. But you love them, right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Um, I'm not a bad guy. I got into trouble. I, uh, I Let's be honest. Honesty is the best policy. Once. And what happened? And it ended really badly. After that, I wasn't allowed to talk to my family. That's so sad. Let's move this thing. No! Ah, that looks bad. Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. All right, I would assume that is why we would want a first aid kit. It's not really what I wanted to do. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Booyah. I'm a good dad. Lee? Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us? I don't think they will. They'll find They'll, us. Uh, track us down. Honestly, maybe don't the best worry. policy, but I'm not telling her her yeah. parents are dead. Okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Okay, let's move. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Boom. Now we want to come back in here, and we can go. Outside. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? I, uh... Why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? <laughs> This is Lee. What's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. 
Alright. What was that? Another candy bar. Alright. Can I give the Clement time? I cannot. I'm not giving it to him. I give it to Carly. She's cute. <laughs> I can. I couldn't give it to Doug. Find it some Screw Doug. <laughs> oh, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't need it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. <laughs> You're a good caretaker. Like a dog. Thanks. All right. How are we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. Is one of them. How the fuck? I think it might be more than a couple days before all this gets sorted out. Yeah, I think so too. We better keep it down out of here. I've never tried to do this so early on. Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? What's that? Universal. I could program it to work with those TVs across the street. That's so lucky, though. Just hope the power's still on. Like, you can just do that. What if it, like most remotes well, aren't universal? I don't think so. That's Let's a. Try. That's pretty. That's pretty lucky, if you ask me. Well, fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Who's to say it already hasn't? <laughs> Got a few of them to take notice. But not enough. Wait, hold on. Let me see something. Is that making a noise when I do that? Oh, wait. Boom. Yes, it does. Okay, how about that? Is it, is it loud? Wait. Wait, hold on. It's so tangled. Oh my god. There we go. Now that shouldn't make any more noise. Okay. I can't reach that brick. Throwback. Throwback to what? Hey man, what are you doing? We can't even think about oh, throw brick. Out there. I the keys throw are out there yeah. For sure. I know. I haven't actually gone to see Glenn yet, so I can't do that yet. Alright. Let's head back inside. Okay. I gotta go save Glenn. And then we can throw a brick. Book read. Okay. Let's 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 go. You ready to hit <laughs> us? You me. got it. You? Yeah. Let's go. Let's do this thing, boy. <clears throat> Is this one? Nope. Get down. Where do I get 
the screwdriver for. Alright. Here we go. Did you see that? Sure did. You ready to shoot? Guys! Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn! That wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen, I was out here looking for gas, and then up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. Who is it? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. I was trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me. And I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal <laughs> over a girl. I'm saving her with or without you. Knight Think in shining about armor. It you. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. <laughs> gruesome death warning incoming? It's not a gruesome death. It cuts away, doesn't it? Pretty sure it cuts away. All right. Okay, this is the plan. We don't know how hard it's gonna be to get her out of that room. Yeah, it's boarded up. So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly, noise attracts these things. Oh yeah, stealth kill. Let's have a look around. Ah, oh, take that. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Oh man. She, she's eating something. Yes. So we got that one right there. Close. Let's move this way. And now we do this. Time to Get murder this one. But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. Lee knows all about how to kill somebody quietly. Nice! That was sick! I wonder if that would actually like work in real life. Check inside the car. That wasn't really what I wanted. Okay, that's still not what I wanted to do. I wanted to look inside the car. Okay, I was just, apparently I didn't get it over far enough the first time. All right, uh, put it in gear. Spark plug. It's a spark thing. Spark plug, you should hold on to that. Could come in handy. Now let's push. Time to die. And squish. That was awesome. Okay, <laughs> right, now we gotta go back. Gotta go back over there. Oh wait, no, 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 I'm stupid. You gotta go back over here. To the truck. And then we got a... Spark plug. Wait. Let me see the spark plug. Porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. That's so crazy. Boom. Yeah, that should have gotten a little more attention, in my professional opinion. But, uh, you know. Take that. I could scramble a brain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. Oh, wait. No? Right. 
now we go over here. Gotta take care of this one. That's munching on a body. How do you like this bad boy? Alright. That's all of them, right? Okay. Got one more. And... Stabby stab. Lee, you gotta go for the brain! You know this. Oh, this is awesome. I love this. Stabby stab. <laughs> Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice pick sized hole. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two done? <laughs> She's so done with us. Two more. That should help. Where's the stairs? There's the stairs. you guys lag behind just in case this goes to hell okay we'll be right behind you sounds good all right time to choppy chop choppy 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 Chop 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 Hello? <laughs> Dang <laughs> man Straight up the Kappa was detated from his head. How did what? How did she get Hello the in board there. on the outside? We're here to of help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. Okay, time to chop down the door. Okay. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. You don't look so good. You're hurt. Oh, God. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away. I'm bit. But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? Glenn! <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. Just leave me. Please go. Uh, come, on, come with us. Okay, we'll leave. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. You have a gun. So? Can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this, and then, then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please. I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. We can't let you do that to yourself. And do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please, step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Miss. Back up, please! Oh, shoot. Whoa! Oh, shoot. I've never made that choice before. Whoa, take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Oh, man. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. 
We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! Dang. <laughs> F in chat. F in chat. Let's get out of here. F in chat, folks. Shit! Here they come! Get in! Everyone all right? Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah, we're okay. I just burped. I've got a few cans was... of gas for your pickup in the trunk yeah. of the car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. All right. Now we go outside. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Yes. Let's have a look around. Okay. Where is he keeping his axe? Because it is not on him. Hey, man, what are you doing? We can't even think about going out there unless the keys are out there for sure. They are. That guy over there has the keys. How can you be sure? Oh, you're right. You're right. I, I gotta give office. them the, her radio back. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. We just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. We wouldn't need long, right? Nah. Just is it too late? Seconds. I'm not really too late. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Okay. Let's head back inside. I want to get the okay. radio, and then we'll go back and do that stuff. Long wait times. Long wait times. Okay. Okay, here you go, Clem. I can't give her the radio. What do you Good. mean? It doesn't hurt so much anymore. Good. I know I'm not your dad, but if you need anything, I'm your guy, okay? Okay. Same. You're my guy? Oh, no. <laughs> you know. We're gonna try to take care of each other. Yes. Deal. Let me know if you need anything. Okay. Okay, I can't give Clem the radio. What a waste of time, Cole, man. How we doing? Good. Want to go have a look around outside? Let's have a look around. Okay. Well, you should have said that before. You should have said that before. Okay. I can't reach that brick. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. Now we can't get back out onto the street. Well, we're also party to some egregious fire code violations. Okay. Time to X. Awesome. Now to distract those things. Carefully. Give me brick. Okay, gotta push the door open. <laughs> Excuse me. Coleman, do you have Daisy by chance?
Yeah. Get distracted, zombies. Now's the time. Go. <laughs> I just got it with Game Pass, so I'll probably stream that pretty soon. Brother. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. Assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Give me a second. Be quiet, Doug. Yelling will get their attention. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry I wasn't here. But knowing you were to take care of them tomorrow, that helped. Sick. Goodbye. Yeah, it would, this would be so tough to like take an axe to your brother's head. Look it up. I don't know if it is cross platform or not. God. There we go. Holy crap! Right? Why didn't he hit him in the head the, uh, every time? Don't know. Don't know. And was like, I, I think I know. There was probably a subconscious reason behind it. He was probably hoping he could take. The, you know, the stem, brain stem out so that he wouldn't mess up his brother's face. That's just my personal thought. It might have been a subconscious thing in hopes to preserve his brother's uh, appearance instead of having to completely destroy Man, that was him, you close. know? But we did it. It's all that matters. Great. God, you're amazing. Let's get in there. Lily is my least favorite. Even more so than Larry. Mostly because of season four. Lily's just the worst. Like, until season four, I disliked Larry the most. But after season four, I dislike Lily the most. Oh no. Oh, shit. We gotta hurry. Do, 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 do. We are waiting. Daisy is not cross platform. Time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back! Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly-dallying. I need to take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! <laughs> Excuse me. I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay 
Are we saving Duggar Carly, guys? Duggar Carly. We'll make we it through this. We'll make it through this. Doug, if we don't make it through this, you should know. I should know what? Huh? You said I should know. Shit. Oh, I... Are you sure? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh. Okay, then. Can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Can't push me. Push me. Push me. Good time. Did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. The window is screwed. Go. Oh, get back. I found something. In the store one last time. Oh, wait. <laughs> Alright, so we're saving Carly. I'm so sorry, buddy. I'm so sorry, Doug. Oh my god. Let's go! We got Doug. Fate. Let's go! And Larry, you're the worst. The actual worst. I love you, Kenny. Especially a good friend. I love you, Kenny. You're my bro. I'm feeling down. I'm feeling... Something that rhymes with down. Not so sound. Glenn, your destiny is elsewhere. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities in their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage nine catastrophe. Mm. I think I need to go. Who would left? Yeah, I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. Yeah. Can you just look over there? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Not like we have much to begin with. Find your friends. I think it's the wrong call. Find, Find your friends. friends. Be safe. Thanks, Lee. That means a lot. I don't mean to abandon you all, but this seems like an okay setup. And I'm sure things will be back to normal around here in no time. Let's hope. You guys be safe. We'll try.
attention to when you leave here. Can you just look over it? Everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes. Bye, Glenn. Go meet Rick. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Adam, yeah, man. Uh, amen. Amen. Earlier, I uh, mentioned yes, you gotta ask yourself what you're gonna do if Clementine's Rest parents peace, don't show. Yeah, <laughs> you did. You think that's gonna happen? Her parents showing up? No, I don't. Well, I want you to know that I think you've got it in you. I think you can take care of that little girl just fine. Thanks, kid. <laughs> hey, Maggie ain't no... You got no, it. She, Maggie's awesome. What do you mean, boy? Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw Why is chat not showing up? It's not hidden. You've said that ten times, Katja. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. I don't so. think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met, and he was such a... It's just that I think that I liked him. Hmm. I'm sorry, Carly. I'm sure he liked well, you, too. I'm sure he liked you, too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. Fair enough. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You're hotter, man. Me. You're hotter. I was going to help. I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know. Me too, Carly. And let me clue. Get out of here, duck. Oh man, check this out. The Jumatron had this minigun on his shoulder. It's hey, all screw like, you. Pow, pow, pow. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. <laughs> he talked so much. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. <laughs> I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. No. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Oh man, Clementine, another thing. Oh my god. What do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so. Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. You hear me? I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. Uh, had to make a choice. Had to be to somebody. Hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. 
This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. You had to say something. Had to say something. Can I skip the next times? Alright. I, I think that's going to do it for this stream. I'm not going to go on to the next Never episode. Um, hope you enjoyed it, Coleman. I think you're the only I one still here. Can you stay something? I want to see why if chat's back week. to working again. Because it wasn't earlier. How you doing, Clementine? Women are a scary really source hungry. in the apocalypse. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. So are humans in general. Howdy. I don't know why chat's not popping up on the screen. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. Anyways. Yep. So next episode, we'll be fighting off the cannibals. Yep, next episode, we we'll fight off the cannibals. You've never liked my dad. Yeah. Even back at the drugstore, yeah. whenever we thought Kenny's kid was um, fit, you went out waiting for this so I can see my choices. This isn't happening. Some, some parables. No more, please. No more, please. Please, please. <laughs> Dang, star for help. Hmm. Okay, fifty-four percent of players were honest. Fifty-two percent of players saved duck. Fifty-four. Only 54 players sided with Kenny all over the potential of getting that, of Duck being bit. Uh, give Irene the gun. 53% of players didn't. And 49% chose Carly. Wow. Thanks for watching episode one. Hope you liked it. If you're still here, comment pineapple and have all the other people just be really confused why people have commented pineapple in the comments. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.